Hi everyone, my name is Gisli. I'm CEO and founder of an Icelandic scale-up called Controllant. So how many in here have been to Iceland? Yeah, I know that two of you have been there. Okay, well, you should definitely come over. If not to invest in Controllant, at least to go to see, see the sceneries and the beautiful landscape. So, back in 2009, we had the swine flu pandemic. And uh, so, uh, the government in Iceland decided to vaccinate the whole population of Iceland. But they were concerned that the temperature storage of vaccines were not satisfactory at all. And you have to remember that vaccines are extremely vulnerable to temperature. They have to be kept at the perfect temperature. If it goes below freezing point, it gets damaged immediately. If it goes, if it exceeds 46 degrees Fahrenheit, the, the, it, it starts to deteriorate. Okay. We were the only solution available in Iceland back in 2009 to make a rollout to the entire country within two weeks to monitor the vaccine storages. So we didn't know what to expect, but we were really soon found out that they were right to have concerns about this because 35% of all vaccine storages were insatisfactory. And they had been there for many years, even you know, tens of years. Now, I'm a father of three. These are my three children, seven, five, and the youngest one is only four months old. And my oldest one, she got vaccinated, and by myself as well, before we started our project in Iceland to optimize the storage of pharmaceuticals. But, you know, we did the installation, and we, we made a great success. Today, we are monitoring each and every pharmaceutical product that is, comes into the country. We monitor it in real time, and we have been able to reduce waste to well below 1% while at average, it's about 10 to 50%. Okay, so my children are safe. You know, I'm good, you know, my youngest one, he will get vaccinated in a few months, and I know that he will get a quality product. But sadly, that is not the case for the rest of the world. $35 billion gets lost everywhere in, every year in healthcare due to temperature spoilage. People, do not get vaccinated due to poor cold chain infrastructure where the need is actually the most. The World Health Organization predicts that usage of vaccination will triple fivefold in the next 10 years. And next, revolutionary drugs are even more sensitive to temperature than before. So the problem is only getting bigger. Okay, so we at Controllant are strong believers that being informed basically saves half the problem. And that is why everything that we do goes into our cloud. All the information that we collect goes into a cloud so that you can have a real-time overview of your entire supply chain, wherever and whenever. We have devices like these that can go with your pharmaceutical products, track location and temperature wherever in the world. It doesn't matter. You will get timely warnings that gives you uh, the ability to prevent any damages of your products. So to ensure your patient's safety, you know, making sure that the cancer, ca cancer patient gets his critical treatment you know, in time. Now, we are working in, the, in, in all verticals in pharmaceutical. We have Parexel, one of the leading industry companies in clinical research. We have Teva, one of the biggest pharmaceutical companies in the world. You probably all know DHL, and Walgreens Boots Alliance is the biggest retail pharma company in the world. So, what is it that we offer these companies here? So, first of all, in order to be able to play the game, we have to make sure that these companies stay compliant. And they do, with our solution. We give them analytics platform. They, they are able to go into root cause analysis immediately you know, once some, something happens. Usually our companies, they make improvements within days when they start working with us. And we give them the ability to integrate into our web cloud platform make, with their ERP systems, making supply chain monitoring fully autonomous. 
So the cold chain market is very big. Our addressable market in pharma and also in food is about $2 billion. We expect it to grow to $3 billion by 2022, and our goal is to get 10% market share. We have already completed round A of $4 million, where we proved the concept, made a product market fit solution, a scalable solution. We have made a market presence and few enterprise sales. We are here because we are seeking $10 million in Series B. We've already secured $2 million. We need to scale up our enterprise sales. We need to continue to build up our channel partner networks globally. And we need to make a critical mass here in the States. So we have an experienced team. We have a great development team. We have industry specialists in food and pharma. We have people in our management team that have made one billion dollar companies in Iceland. So in a nutshell, we are controlling. We are going to solve this $35 billion problem. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, maybe one thing. I, I just thought of one more reason for you to come to Iceland. It's the best place in the world to get vaccinated. <laughs> Thank you.